every NBA team's leaked 2024-2025 City Edition jerseys. Uh, these leaked, I think, a couple of days ago, and I had the chance to browse over them. So we're going to go through each team alphabetically and just give their new City jersey a ranking. Uh, not a ranking, but a grade. Uh, and compare it to maybe some previous iterations, or my recollection of the previous iteration of jerseys. The jersey. So, without further ado, let me um, jump right into it. So, first up in this grade, we've got the Atlanta Hawks, their jersey. So, their city edition jersey this year is a white base with a couple of like blue stripes going through it. You've got one through the midsection, kind of like a sash, and then a little bit in the corner. Uh, there's also accents of black lining and you know, like a beige cream pipe. Um, overall, I don't think it's all that notable. It's kind of keeping on par with that ATL, um, you know, jersey that they had last year or two years ago, where it did have more of that blue color, and I think it even incorporated like a Georgia beach. Um, now they've simplified it even more, just as Hawks, and it has this overall I. I'm not, I think it's a clean look, I think it's a clean jersey, I don't really think of the Hawks when I look at it, I don't think that it's all that impressive, it is mostly white at the end of the day, um, and I don't think that it's going to incorporate their actual logo anywhere on it, so I'd give this like a, a B minus, I think that the, the blank itself isn't that bad, but doesn't really remind me of the Hawks, um, aesthetically pleasing though, so, give it a B minus, not the worst. I think that there'll be much worse, but there'll also be a lot better. Next up, we've got the Boston Celtics. Uh, the Boston Celtics going with like a dark gray, almost pewter colored jersey. And then on the, you know, the collar and the sleeves, you've got a dark green piping. Uh, the logo or not the logo, the lettering for Celtics and the side stripe are much more neon, like kill and buy green. It's like a fluorescent green. Uh, honestly, this jersey reminds me a lot of like old football Nike, like Nike dry fit stuff that I would get at Nordstrom Rack. Uh, it doesn't look all of that great in my opinion. It's just, I think the color contrast and the colors they chose and the, fair, the fact that it's a very simple jersey um, doesn't really go all that well together. I think if it had a black base and a brighter green and the collar and sleeves, maybe I would like it more. It's, it's really dull looking and I think that the green is not really a Celtics green. I think I would give this one like a C plus, uh, in my opinion. I don't think that maybe on court they'll look nice, but not really my cup of tea. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep going. After that, we've got the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, and the Brooklyn Nets, I actually do enjoy this one a decent amount. In the back, you've got the like gray camo that they've been doing the last couple of years. Uh, you've probably seen their previous editions of the jersey, which were, um, you know, a lot more colorful, and they had the Bed-Stuy, you know, shout out, and so they took the really colorful jersey, they took the black and white camo ones, and they kind of incorporated both elements together, you've got Brooklyn with a colorful lettering all around it, a little more of that, like, silliness and goofiness in that lettering, while keeping the rest of it more uh, along the lines of their camo, and I actually think this is probably one of the best interpretations of this that they have done, um, it reminds me of, like, Fruity Pebbles a little bit, Fruity Pebbles in, like, mountains, but I, I do enjoy this, I think that this is one of their better city jerseys, uh, as of late, I think I would give this, like, a, maybe an A-, minus. I think that they're not doing too much, they're improving on previous years, and I enjoy it quite a bit, so A- minus for this one. Maybe, maybe a B plus. Uh, anywho, after that, we've got the Charlotte Hornets. Charlotte Hornets, I 
really do enjoy this color. It's like a mint green, a seafoam green even. Uh, you've got black and gold surrounding the collar and the sleeves. And I think this one is slightly different than some of the others. Um, yeah, if we go back to the Hawks and the Celtics, they have a rounded collar. Brooklyn has more of a pointed v-neck and I think this one also has a pointed v-neck edge. Um, I have to say, just the colorway and the way that this is made, I'm, I'm a fan. I think that this is a big improvement over the Clint jerseys as well. Now you just have Charlotte written across the front with the coloring, everything that's there. I think that'll look really nice when it's uh, all done. Uh, I'd give this one an A, you know? I, I think just, I, I do like these colors quite a bit. I think that I do think of Charlotte when I see these colors, and it's better than the previous version, so no reason not to give it an in. Next, we've got uh, the Chicago Bulls. Uh, this one is a bit confusing to me. You've got a white jersey with the Bulls written on the front in like pretty big lettering, uh, all in gray with some I don't, I don't even know what to call it, like, Dirty Dan piping uh, on the collar and sleeves, surrounded by a, a very light cream color. If you look at the shoulders, there's one shoulder that's more so like an off-white, the other one also more of a, like, beige. Then on the sides, you have two stars. I'm sure that this is paying homage to something. What that thing is, I have no idea. Uh, when I look at this, I do not think of the Bulls. I actually don't think of any basketball team at all. This is probably one of my least favorites. <laughs> it's just... Uh, maybe with like white shorts it could look cool, but really no relation to the Bulls uh, in my, my ability to look at it and think of the Chicago Bulls. Not a huge fan of the colorway either. Uh, overall, I'd, I'd give this a D. Next up, we've got the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now this one, I think, is pretty cool to look at. You've got the land instead of Cleveland. You've got a small white the, and then a big land across the front. And the land is, uh, there's, there's some texture going on there, lots of lines too. Uh, emphasize the shape of the letters. You have a little bit of a 3D effect going on. The base of this jersey is a light blue, like um, not really a Cleveland color, that's for sure, but it's a light blue. Then you've got white piping around the, or you've got a like slightly darker OKC type blue piping around the neck and the sleeves, and a white finish around that piping, and then all across the side of the jersey, you've got what looks like a graffiti print of the Cavs logo, the old Cavs logo, uh, things like that, so I think that it incorporates elements of their brand in a unique way. The color doesn't remind me of Cleveland, but I do like the way that it's laid out and what they've done with it. Um, I think I I definitely give this one a B plus as well. Not really your traditional Cleveland Cavaliers color scheme, but I like what I'm looking at. I, I think that this is a cool jersey, nonetheless. Um, so yeah, B plus. Next up, we've got the Dallas Mavericks. Dallas Mavericks not straying too far from their jerseys last year. Uh, this one is all white. You've got a white base, that v-neck collar. Then around the collar and sleeves, you've got light gray as your piping. Um, a couple of lines down the side of the jersey, it looks like maybe a little bit of a floral gray pattern, and then you have that Curse of Font Mavs logo that they used earlier this year. Uh, considering that white is one of the Mavericks colors, I think that it's not, you know, it, it's not like it doesn't 
relate to the mass. I just don't know why they went so heavy on the gray and that there's no color at all. I think just adding a little bit of their blue would make this pretty nice. Um, so yeah, it looks like I'm looking like at a black and white version of a jersey, uh, which if they just colored it, probably it could be really nice. Um, pretty simple. Nothing necessarily wrong with that. I like the way that the map is written. It's just doesn't stand out. Uh, I think this is also one that I would give a B minus. Like, you know, dog some points on creativity. There's not really much going on here. Nothing to really capture the eye. It does fit the team, the, the, the color scheme of the team. And I do think that it's, it's not ugly by any means. It's just lacking some pizzazz. So yeah, B minus. After that, we have the Denver Nuggets City Edition jersey. Ah, uh, this one is very interesting. So, you've got the 5280, which is a number that relates to Denver in some way. Ah, uh, I forget how exactly, even though I live there. Let me, not that I didn't grow up there or anything. Let me try and find out what the 5280 is real quick. Magazine in Denver, so it's a publishing company. Okay, so I guess 5280 is relevant in that way. I know I've seen it in previous editions. So this jersey is a base of white. You've got the v-neck collar, um, also white sleeves, white collar. You have black piping on the very top of the collar, uh, and then in the center of the jersey, you have the 5280 written out in black, and the numbers look to be a very, very light gray or even white, but then they have this diagonal ombre line thing going on. You've got blue fading into green, into yellow, uh, and imagine it's like a, a very geometric topographical map lining. So if you look down the side of the jersey, you'll see what looks like a mountain range, a sideways mountain range, with red, yellow, blue, and it very much does remind me of like an elevation map and things like that. Considering Denver is my love, I think that is actually very cool. I'm a big fan of the way that looks. Now as far as the, the colors on the numbers, they don't fully match up with what's going on on the side. I think that like there's a lot more purple in the numbers and it kind of just like the 5-2, the numbers don't blend into the 8-0. I think that they could have been more consistent with the way that they were doing it on the side. Maybe make the peak of the mountain red, the rest of it going down uh, to like yellow, green, blue, things like that. Instead, it's kind of just showcasing all the colors in a, in a nonsensical way, in my opinion. Uh, so, I feel like this jersey could be improved upon. I, I really do like it. I wouldn't think necessarily of Denver at first glance, but by 5280 and the mountain range on the side, I think you have enough context clues to put it together. Uh, I like what they were going for. I'll give them an A minus. I think that like idea and creativity are definitely there. It's more so execution where it could have been improved upon a little bit, but these are cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how these look uh, on the court. It is a lot of white, but I like the pop of color, and it's it's definitely different. So yeah, um, a good shot. Next up, we've got the Detroit Pistons. Now, even though De De Detroit is kind of down in the trenches these last couple of years, I think that they've done a really good job on this jersey. Like, it is a light beige cream color, um, more like an off-white, not a, not beige, that's a little too dark. Yeah, I guess like an off-white. Uh, then you've got black around the collar and the sleeves, and then orange to complement that. Across the front you've got a, like a Jetson style Pistons lettering. Uh, and then down the side, you've got a bright orange stripe. Not doing it any 
anything too much. I think that it's a good change of pace from the regular coloring. I guess that is a little bit hypocritical to give compliments to some teams and give, uh, you know, takeaway points from others. But I think that this takes the old version that they had and doesn't do too much wrong with it. Like, no, I don't necessarily think of the Pistons, but I think it reminds me of their throwback jersey. And based on like how the throwback logo could fit with this jersey, I think that it would look like it. It would look good. I, I think for the rollback, like, this works. This for sure works. Um, yeah, with their, like, regular logo, it would look super weird. doesn't match their color scheme. But considering what their branding used to be, I, I find this pretty nice. Um, looks, looks pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, I'm willing to give this an A. Uh, I'll give this one an A as well. Put it up there. Next up, we've got the Golden State Warriors. Uh, the Golden State Warriors, they've gone with a very dark blue base. Um, quite, quite dark blue. Like, you could say navy, but it might even be a smidge darker than that. Then they've got yellow around the sleeves uh, and collar. But with that yellow ring, then you also have like a, not a bright gold, but like a 49ers gold. Um, and then you have a red, so it's three rings uh, all around the collar and the sleeves. Then you've got that same gold, kind of writing out gold in the state in a chunky block text uh, in the form of a circle. So you've got golden and then state underneath, and then you would have the Warriors logo right in the center. Uh, I think that the way that they've spaced that is nice. Uh, you've got the Nike symbol in red, then you've got a lot of red on the sides. Uh, in all honesty, this jersey reminds me a lot of the Chinese New Year edition jerseys that the Warriors wore in like 2016, back when they had the sleeves. Uh, I, I don't understand why there's so much red. Like, we really are, our color scheme is not red, uh, and there's a quite a lot of it here. I also do think that the gold and the yellow, there's a lot going on with that. I think you pick one or the other. The blue is also really dark. Um, in my opinion, you can do without the gold color. I think the way that the jersey, or the way that the logo is, that yellow, if you take it and put it on here, yeah, I guess it would match kind of with the yellow on the top of the piping, but it's kind of all over the place. I do think that in order for the logo to work on this, you're going to need an altered logo. You can't just stick the regular Golden State bright yellow and um, popping blue logo in the middle of this jersey and have it look nice. There's going to have to be like some sort of alternate logo to fit in here, and without that, I can't really imagine this looking that great. Um, it, it's just a lot, in my opinion, a lot all over the place. If it had more consistency in the coloring, I think it would look a little better. Uh, the fact that you've got the bright yellow, the gold, and the red, and a navy blue, uh, it's it's a little puzzling. There's a lot of red on here as well. I'm, I'm gonna get this one maybe a C plus. Uh, I'll see how it looks. If they can pull out like a all red logo or something like that with gold accents or something different, then maybe. Uh, but I, I don't know what to expect with this one. I don't see the vision, so I'm going to give it a C+. Plus. Uh, after that, you've got the Houston Rockets. The Houston Rockets opted to go for a white base with are red along the colors in the sleeves and then in the red they've got red on like the edges and through the center more of a like dark gray uh just a simple stripe down the sign with that same type of like red gray red piping and then in the center of the jersey in big uh slanted writing you've got h down h down with capital h and then a dash and 
like a lowercase town. Uh, I like the font. I like the way that's still did, and I think that the logo really pops off the white. To me, this is a very clean jersey, and I think that you could fit the, the retro logo on this, and it would look really nice. Uh, I see the vision for this one. I think that they took their colors, they incorporated it into something, and this, when it's all sudden done, will pop and look really nice. This, uh, I give this an A. I, I feel like that this will look really nice when it's finished. So I'm pretty happy with this. I think that Houston did a good job. <laughs> Next up, you've got the uh, Indiana Pacers. Indiana Pacers opting to build on their um, Comic Sans jerseys. Last year they had a version of this. This year they're going with a all white base uh, along the collars and along the collar and the sleeves. You've got yellow followed by black followed by a cyan um, color. And so those are the the staple colors that we saw from these jerseys last year anyway. In the middle, you've got the comments, the comic sans Indy, I-N-D-Y, followed with uh, shadows of black and yellow. Then across the uh, side of the jersey, you have what looks like a gray base with yellow paint sl splatter. So it's like yellow at the bottom, gray at the top, and there's like yellow paint splattering all the way up. I think if instead of gray they had used black, it would probably pop a little more. Um, maybe they intentionally didn't want to use black since they have it, but I think if they had just kept the color scheme all the way the same all throughout, it would look slightly more clean. Honestly, it doesn't look as bad as I would think. I do enjoy, it's kind of like the Jaguars, uh, the Jaguars football team. Turquoise, you've got the yellow. Um, I think I could hate it more. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's interesting to look at. Uh, and considering what they had last year, I don't think it's that horrible. It doesn't stray too far from India's colors either. It's not something I would look at and think of them necessarily, but their colors aren't too far off of Golden State, such as blue and yellow and things like that, so. You know, I'm gonna give this a B minus. B minus once again. If, you're, if it had black on the side, I think I could give this a little bit higher instead of the gray. I think that the gray takes away from a little bit. Give it a black, a little more pop, but it's different, it's different, and I think that it looked better than I was expecting last year, so I'm uh, not too disappointed with any of the changes. So, yeah, uh, it's it's funky though, it's definitely a funky jersey. Next up, you've got the Los Angeles Clippers. Uh, these are a light blue jersey featuring black on the collars and the sleeves. You've got one singular Dino light blue line going through that piping, and then you've got a sideways slanted Clips logo, it just says C-L-I-P-S, and then the I, uh, the dot is replaced by a basketball, this is, I think, figuring to be their throwback uniform, or like, more like their, I mean, I don't even know, they, they just went through a huge rebrand, and I'm not 100% sure what their, like, regular go-to jerseys are, but if you saw their gray jerseys that say Clips on them, imagine, like, a ten times better version. Uh, I think that they killed it with these, you know, going for something they look pretty unique. Uh, it's much better than their black and white. I think that they're hopefully like, going for more color with these uh, jerseys. I, I don't really remember what their new ones look like, but I like the blue. I like the logo. I think that it's a lot better than what their general uniform is. I'll give this an A+. Plus. I think that this looks great. I would, I would like to wear something like this. I think this is a very clean look. Uh, looks nice, and it comes at a good time because I don't know what their new established look is, 
but I could look at this and associate it with them. It doesn't like clash with anything that they are supposed to be. So I like this. Uh, probably one of my favorite jerseys so far. Next, you've got the Lakers, the Los Angeles Lakers coming out with a gray to purple ombre. So the base is probably one of the most ambitious. Starting off with a yeah, dark gray at the top, around the chest it stays gray, and then by like the lower chest it starts to fade, and by the time you're at the bottom of the jersey it's a full blown purple, like a dark purple. You've got an ombre stitching, or uh, ombre piping along the collar and shoulders as well. It looks like it's from light purple to dark purple, and you've also got black or the gray accents on either side of him the lettering uh, instead of regular lakers or la it says lake show you've got lake show with a little bit of the zoom effect so like there's lines going to the left showing that the lake show is kind of like speeding through so there's that um i I honestly probably would like this more if it was just all purple. Uh, I think that the Lakers color scheme, it can, it's pretty unique. You know, you think of purple and yellow, you are bound to think of them. You don't really need to confuse your audience by throwing gray in there, especially a gray to purple ombre. Maybe it'll look cool on the court. I feel like this doesn't really clash with their logo. You could throw it on there and it would be fine if you wanted to do so. Um, Lake Show, I think is kind of cool to put that on your jersey instead of something else. I'll give you points on that. Uh, I think that the speed effect is also good. I don't really like the color though. Uh, if you chose all gray, if you chose black, or if you chose like a solid purple, it would be cooler. Or maybe even a different ombre. Uh, but this is a little weird to look at in my opinion. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of what they've done. I'll give it a solid B. I think that elements that I like, elements that I don't like. Interested to see the finished product though. Okay, <laughs> this one. Now you've got the Memphis Grizzlies. The Memphis Grizzlies, I don't understand this one bit. You've got a solid red base. Um, and then V-neck. The Nike logo and around the sleeves and collar you've got a, a light blue um think of like the Seattle Mariners it's the Mariners that I'm thinking of no the Seattle Kraken Seattle Kraken that kind of blue uh -huh. then white so it's blue white a little bit of gray even around the collar and the sides and then like a very artistic Memphis like it's kind of like a chunky cursive uh, in white then you've got blue shadow and a little bit of gray detailing and it's all on a red jersey so off the bat I will say I really like the look of this jersey I think in terms of aesthetics it looks amazing I, w I would definitely enjoy watching this on the team. Now, should it be the Memphis? No. Uh, like the Grizzlies, they don't have these colors. This is definitely more reminiscent of the Houston Rockets, if anything. Um, I think that they they had a great idea, but they just made it for the wrong team. Like, that's not your team. I don't, like, even if you think of, like, the Vancouver Grizzlies, that color scheme is slightly different from their color. It's, this doesn't fit anything that I would correlate with the Grizzlies. So, in terms of concept and design, I really like it. I probably would give this an A in terms of like matching the team. C minus. So that's got to balance out. I do want to bet on this. Uh, I don't even know. I, I probably just do have to give it different ratings because I like it, and I also would never think of Memphis like right one of the last thing, teams I would think of for this jersey um so yeah C minus on getting your branding and 
a on design and look it's clean like I'm sure it look great on the court but it just is not you Anywho, after that we've got the Miami Heat Miami Heat going with yet another heat culture it's uh, their heat logo or sorry first off you've got an all red base the lining on the collar and sleeves is also red you've got a very faint red a uh, very faint black line at the top and the outer edge of those and then white Nike logo you've got heat just written out as heat with a little bit of a flame sticking out from the corner of the T and then in a more faded and rugged uh, font you've got culture written beneath it overall I don't think it's that bad I think you can put the logo on here um, I like the red. I think that it's a nice red. It is not that creative. It's it just has heat culture, but I do think I like it more than last year's. Um, I feel like it look nice. I, I do just like red. I think I'm slightly biased towards red. I think that's why the Bulls jerseys made me so mad, because it's like, bro, you have such a good thing going for you, and you really ruined it. Uh, this an all red uniform with this. I'll give it a B plus. I, I like it. <laughs> I won't lie. It doesn't have a ton going on, but I think that staying simple here did go in to the favor of the next up. We've got the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, these are interesting. You've got a maybe call this indigo it's like a blue purple ish light blue purple uh, with a thick cream outline around the v-neck collar and the sides and then it says bucks in the front in like a very angular block text and then you've got a, a waveform almost it's like a mountain range or something it, just goes up and then kind of cascades down across the front. Looks pretty similar to the things that they've worn in the last couple of years. Uh, not quite like Cream City, but like the ones that came after it. Uh, I'm starting to associate this color with the books. I think it's a little bit closer to their throwbacks. Not really. Um, I think they've done a good enough job of keeping this color scheme year in and year out that I'm not too upset that it doesn't remind me of the current Bucks uniforms. Um, it's pretty simple. I don't think that there's anything that impressive about it. Like, it's... I don't even think it's all that aesthetic. I'd probably give this, like, a... C plus. Yeah. Um, doesn't look that bad. There's something going on, but it's not that cool. I don't love the line across the front. If you're going to add a design, maybe make it a little bit cooler. Maybe add something on the sides. Uh, that gray line also kind of comes out of nowhere. You do need a third color, but that being the only place for it makes it a little bit difficult. I'm not sure. I, I like the top half of the jersey. I think the bottom half could be improved upon. I'd probably give this, yeah. Uh, what did I say? C? C plus? Um, yeah, somewhere in that range. Anywho, after that, well, we've got the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, this is something. You've got a... <laughs> Honestly, it looks very poorly done, in my opinion. Kind of just, like, mismatched together. At the very top of the jersey, it's black. Then at the bottom, you've got white. So it's a black to white ombre. And then you've got like this weird ice uh, effect going on across the front. And I think the ice relating to Minnesota makes sense. You've got Minnesota written across the front in a smooth uh, black text. I, I like the look that they chose for the font. I like the font. Uh, it's written in white with a black outline. The collar and sleeves are white um, lining, white Nike logo, but the the ice, it's weird, like it, it peaks up really highly and touches the Nike logo, it's got this like blue uh, emanating aura from 
it so they're trying to make it like pop a little more it's not just lines it kind of does look like guys maybe it would look cool in action i do have to say it kind of reminds me of that really ugly pop smoke album cover that everyone was clowning on that had like the chains or like the barbed wire and the ice um overall i think that it could have been executed better uh i'll give it like a Like the idea is there. I don't really like how it's come out. I don't. Yeah, I, I give it a B minus. That looks kind of funky. Uh, probably the most ambitious uh, outdoing the Lakers. Then you've got the New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, Pelicans going with like a Halloween theme. You've got bones in the background. I think it's supposed to be voodoo. Maybe uh, New Orleans is known for voodoo. So all across the purple the like purple base jersey like purple gray uh, you've got these like diagonal bones that meet at points so it kind of looks like up and down a pattern uh, on the on the collar and the sleeves you've got a bright green with a gold piping around it and then it says NOLA NOLA New Orleans Louisiana across the front with gold and then that green piping around it as well uh, in terms of like spookiness voodoo and all that I do think that it incorporates all those colors well like um, do I think of the pelicans not exactly but I I can fully see what they're going for and I think that they do a good job at the, I like the subtle bone element I think that the colors do very much make me think of voodoo uh, things like that and i think like if they were to wear this on halloween it would look really cool outside of halloween i don't know if it would make a ton of sense but that is kind of what they're like it doesn't need to make sense it's not a halloween jersey it's for the voodoo of new orleans uh, i like it i i think that it's a cool concept i think that they have done this well they could maybe do a little more but I like what they've got. Uh, I give this an A minus. Yeah. Next up, we've got the New York Knicks. The Knicks going with a similar look to last year. It's an all white jersey with the light gray lines down the front to give it like a textured referee jersey look. Uh, you've got orange on the collar and sleeves. Down the side, you've got an orange stripe with a much thicker blue stripe and then in the front it's a that was my stomach my bad I'm a little bit hungry uh then you've got the offset shadow thing that they've got going on for them where it says new york and blue and then again new york and orange uh i thought that there was when these were released i think last year i thought that they were pretty ugly looking but when they're on the court they did look quite nice so I think I'm gonna trust that they know what they're doing. I like the way that this looks right now on the court. Um, probably will look cool. I give it like a B plus. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the look still. I don't think I would own anything like this, but I think that once it does get the full logo and everything like that, it'll look nice. Okay, see. Uh, then we got the Oklahoma City Thunder coming out with a majority black uniform. It's a black print with uh, a like a red orange on their collar and the sleeves, uh, followed by yellow. Um, their Nike logo is their blue along the side. You've got maybe some sort of image that's completely in blue and black. I don't really know what it's supposed to depict, but there's something. It's not just one color or another. Uh, so they're trying to go for something there. Can't really tell what it is. I think that it says Oklahoma uh, over the front side in a slightly curved manner. I think that it looks fine. Um, Oklahoma. I like that it says Oklahoma, the whole thing. I think that the colors on the Oklahoma part do make me think of Oklahoma, oddly enough. Uh, but I think it's just a little ugly. Uh, the blue on the side, no blue on the logo, does come off a little bit strange, in my opinion. I would like to see more 
my opinion. I think that the sides, it's like, with the side stripe, it makes it kind of weird. The blue is really throwing it off. If you take out the blue completely, uh, it's not that bad. If maybe you just replaced it with the yellow all the way through, I think it, it would look nicer. But the black, the blue, the orangish, red, and the yellow all coming together, I think it's a bit ugly. Um, it's probably one of my... I think design-wise, there's nothing necessarily wrong with it, but the colors, the way that they've been together, put together, I'm not a huge fan. Um, I'd give this one C-. Anywho, after that, we've got the Orlando Magic. The Orlando Magic with a white jersey, uh, lots of patterning going on, like gray vertical stripes, and even more... crisscrossing and giving it a lot of texture. Looks like it's made of rope. Uh, then you've got black and gray across the collar and the sleeves. You've got like a zigzag line on the sides. Magic is written out in black with gray outlining and the A is replaced with a star. Uh, overall, I think that this is great. It just fully reminds me of the San, An San Antonio Spurs. Uh, even maybe the Brooklyn Nets. It does not remind me of the Orlando Magic, unfortunately. Yeah, this one, it's kind of up there with the, um, the Grizzlies. I do like the look. I think that the texture is really cool. I think that the, the logo is well done. The side stripe has some pizzazz to it. It's just the coloring. The coloring does not remind me of your team at all. Uh, if it yeah, if the lines were blue instead. I, I honestly don't remember what their one laster was. Like, it looks pretty similar to their one laster. I don't remember exactly what the differences are, but I'll give you, like, I don't think it's as egregious, though. Like, Orlando does have white. They do have some gray. It's not as bad. I'll give this, like, an A-. minus. Um, would have liked to see some blue. I think there's room for improvement, but it's a pretty cool looking jersey. I enjoy it. Next up, you've got the Philadelphia 76ers. Excuse me. Uh, going with something that it's very, very similar to what they've been wearing in the last couple of years. It's a white jersey with red, blue, and white piping on the collar and sleeves. You've got the Sixers old, old-fashioned, like, really retro-type lettering. Um, and then a color block of red, orange, green, and blue down the side. I think it's supposed to be, like, a, a throwback-ish. I don't know what's different. Uh, than the previous iterations. I think it takes their colors. You have that a lot across the top. You've got the pop of color on the sides. White jersey with the red lettering is nice. I think it's a clean look. I, I don't think there's anything super special about it. Like, I don't really remember how it's any different from their previous ones. But you're taking a good thing and you're not really ruining it. Um, honestly, I'm willing to give this one an A. I like this. I think that it's aesthetically pleasing to look at. Maybe an A minus, but I'm a fan. I, I would like this. Yeah, this is very much my style. <laughs> then you've got the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns are coming out with actually a very interesting design. Uh, all purple base to begin. Then you've got orange and green on the piping, uh, along with the valley written across the front the, in a smaller front just regular and then valley in a curved shape and you've got a big uh star a big misshapen star um on the front the side i think I, i'm sure there's a reason why the star looks like that uh possibly to resemble the, the shape of the state is that what new mexico looks like sorry arizona <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona. Um, possibly it's like, if I'm thinking of the right state, maybe. Let me, let me just look at what Arizona looks like. Uh, vaguely 
is very, very vaguely. I don't know if that's really why it looks like that, but you've got a misshapen star, and then you've got like um, I don't know what to call it without saying something offensive. You've got a pattern, a pattern that reminds me of Native American patterning or like Aztec stuff down the side. Don't know what that's really referred to um, or the name for it, but I think it's cool. I think it's a cool aspect that they have incorporated into the jersey. All in all, very different, ambitious, and I think that like it's a bit funky, but I admire the creativity. I'm gonna give them an A on this one. It's maybe not something you would catch me wearing personally, but it's cool. I I admire it. It's very bold. Next up, you've got Portland Portland Trailblazers. They're going with a gray base, uh, with white on the call. No, sorry. Uh, you've got gray on the collar and sleeves, along the shoulders and top of the back. You have some white down the side. You have red. So in terms of color scheme, you got it completely correct on the front side. It says Rip City. And then you've got like this textured dot layering on the front. It's like a bunch of squares with five dots across, five dots down. And in the center, it's a little bit more bulky, uh, giving it an interesting texture. Um, I don't have the great base. I think if you just change up the base color, it could be nicer. I think the color, the way that they've been took it, put together, is a little bit ugly. I think you also do have a tougher time because those are your your jersey logo colors. So in terms of color accuracy, I would give this a high rating. In terms of how it really looks, I think it's ugly. Um, I give it a C plus. Yeah. Then we've got. Sacramento Kings, the Kings building on their uniforms from last year. Uh, in the terms of the colorway, it's the blue, a blue that doesn't really belong to the Kings. You've got white and red all across the Kings written on the front. So it's a blue base, red piping on the collar along the sleeves. It's red with white in the middle. Down the side, you've got white and then a bigger, thick red stripe. The lettering on the front, it says Kings with white and then red piping all around. I think if you invert the, the side stripe, it would look better with the red on the outside, white on the uh, inside. Yeah, I think that's throwing me off a little bit. Overall, it doesn't remind me of the Kings. Mostly clean, does need some adjustment. I'd give this one B minus. It's it's not bad to look at. Ooh, okay. Now we've got the San Antonio Spurs. Here you have a very light seafoam green, like a very light uh, pop of color across the top, <laughs> the sleeves. It's like a line of green, a line of Beige, a line of orange. You've got San Antonio written across the chest with a like groovy font. It says it in black with more orange and gray outline. Uh, All together, I think that the colors are really nice. I know that San Antonio does have those colors in their retro uniforms and things like that. Um, I really like this one. I like the look of it. I like the font that they chose. The colors, they all come together very nicely. I'd give this one an A+. Plus. I think that this is a home run jersey. Uh, you fit the logo on with that and look cool. I'm a fan. Anyway, after that, the Toronto Raptors. Uh, the Toronto Raptors, you've got a black base jersey with gray lightning bolt. Uh, vertical stripes down it across the top or across the collar and the sleeves you've got purple uh, with black lining kind of does remind me of like a old Lakers base and then for the logo you've got the um, 
Velociraptor red dinosaur Vince Carter jersey logo. Ah, uh, so it's a Velociraptor that is getting ready to dunk the ball by putting it between his legs. Uh, I think this is incredibly hard. I think that this is easily the best one. Uh, this is my favorite one. I think that the logo is super cool. The, the background doesn't really distract from it all together it works well. I like how the purple on the jersey matches the purple on the uh, accents of the collar and the sleeves. Black works well. Overall this is the best one. This is an A++ S tier. Uh, I'm a huge fan. Ooh, and then you've got the Utah Jazz. Some of the best for last. Uh, realistically speaking, I have no idea how this is any different from last year. It's that that clean Utah look where it's purple. Then you've got the, the mountains, the white mountains. Then it has Utah written across the front. And then it fades from white back into purple. You've got some blue accents. The blue across the collar and the logo also match the shaded side of the mountain. You've got a blue stripe down the side. This is also like a phenomenal jersey. We don't really know what's different, but compared to the regular jerseys and just some of these other ones, pays tribute to what their jerseys used to look like. I think it looks really good. Uh, I would also give this an A plus or an S. And finally, you've got the Washington Wizards. Uh, the Wizards going with yet another district jersey. This time, staying with their color scheme, you've got a white base template. Then you've got the district in that like old-timey medieval font. And it says Up Columbia underneath. District is all in red. The uh, is in like white. Then across the top collar and the sleeves it's like a marbled black and white pattern um, very nice to look at compared to their ones last year their, their last year color scheme made no sense now you've got a sensible version I like the I like this one so much better uh, I'll give this an A minus I think that there could be a little bit more uh, actually, I'll give this an A. I think it's such a huge improvement on their previous version. I will fully give this one an A. Uh, this is this is nice. It's a clean. It's a clean look. And yeah, that does it. Those are all 30 City Edition jerseys from the upcoming 2024-2025 season. Now let's take all of these grades um, with a grain of salt, considering that they're not fully done. Some will have their uh, logos added to them, I'm pretty sure, uh, you'll have, sorry, not logos, but, like, jersey numbers, things like that, um, something will be on here, anyhow, it, it depends on the team, what's going on, uh, it's just not done, not all of these are done, I'm sure when it's all said and done, there will be more interesting aspects to each one of these. Maybe some will go up, some will go down. Uh, it's hard to fully assess, but this is what I think of them so far. And yeah, let me know what you think. Which ones are your favorite? Which ones are your least favorite? I think that the Denver one does stick out as like the most unique from this year. Uh, I've never seen anything quite like that before with the topographical map. Um, and just after reviewing all of them, that one, I am most interested to see how those go. I would like to see them kind of stick with it, but just improve upon it next year. Uh, great idea. Just like slightly botch the execution. So yeah, as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoy content like this, feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. I'll be putting out more videos as the weeks progress. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.